Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tracy and today I'm doing a video for Scrappy Shack. Place to shop for everything and right now you can get 15% off using the code TIME TO MAKE and I'll put the link in the description box below. Today I'm going to show you how I made these calico cats. So first of all, I've got a piece of watercolor paper and this is a 9 by 12 watercolor. And here I've got some cats that I've already made just so you can kind of see. And the reason I do it this way, now you could certainly just paint them the way you want, but I'm looking for a true organic look because we all know that there's nothing uniform about a calico cat. So I'm gonna start off with this carved pumpkin spray. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz spray stain, and I'm just gonna do random dots all over the page and we will let those dry completely. Okay, now that I've got those dry, I'm gonna grab my little paintbrush and I'm gonna grab my hickory smoke. And by the way, you can pick up these at Scrappy Shack as, Scrappy Shack as well. I'll spit that out. And I'm just making little organic spots and I don't mind that the little spot dripped on there. I and mean, we've seen calico cats. In some places I'm putting one, some places I'm putting two. And these will lighten up. And what I like about this color, other than the fact that it's making my camera crazy, is that it's not really gray and it's not really brown. It's kind of a gray brown. <laughs> so, you know, like a smoke color. And I'm just randomly putting it down again, just, you know, kind of right on top of my little orange spots. And we'll let that dry. All right, now that that's dry, I'm gonna go in with the black soot, and I only have this small little one. I need to buy a bigger one, but I don't really use the black soot a lot. I don't know why. I guess because I like bright colors. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, and oftentimes right next to the gray dot. And just, you know, make the shapes organic. I don't want anything perfectly round, but I do want it to, I don't want spaces in it, if, if you know what I mean. Like, I want that dot to be filled in. And I'll just go around and do one or two on each set. So basically, I'm just making a bunch of sets to cut my cats out. And the fun part is, is when you go to start cutting out the cats, um is laying the cats on there, getting colors kind of where you want them. And when we finish this step, then I'm gonna show you how I get the stripes in. Now, not all calico cats have stripes, so I will leave a couple without stripes. So you get the idea, it couldn't be easier. And I am using the bumpy side of the watercolor paper um, just for more texture. I like the added texture. And once you're happy with your black dots, you're going to let that dry completely. I gave it a little help with my dryer, but not a lot. <laughs> and a couple more little black spots here and there. And make sure you're leaving some white space because most calico cats are mostly white. I mean, you, I have a brindle cat and she's multicolored. <laughs> Anyway, we've got those dry. Now what I have here is I have a couple of Posca paint pens. You can use any paint pen you have. Um, and I'm just making random stripes kind of opposite each other, overlapped, it's bricked I guess you could say, and then just some little, little white lines. And I'll go through and I'll do multiples with the white. And I do have this sped up a little bit because, you know, it's line drawing. And they're kind of not really line shaped, though. They're kind of like skinny V's. And then you'll go in with the black. And I just outline them with the black and then put some random squiggles. And that's, I mean, that's pretty easy. And that way you get that cool kind of colorful calico design we'll do this one and then I'll do the rest off camera and we'll get our cats cut out and there's enough here to do the whole set of cats and then some 
um, if you're economical with where you lay your cats. So it all looks weird now, but that's okay. See, I've left a couple of spots without stripes for my cats, and now I'm gonna pull my cats out. And I'm going to do the cats one at a time with their faces and keep them together best I can because otherwise I won't be able to tell. And they are labeled with the cat number. So I'm just laying him and I'm thinking, well, where do I want his colors? And I want, I want his hiney <laughs> to be striped. So I'll lay his hiney on there and kind of just situate him around on there. And then I'll lay the face down in another spot. And because this is a big piece of paper, I'm going to go ahead and trim this out. And it will fight you because that is mint tape. <laughs> and so it doesn't like to stick to a bumpy surface very well until you really give a lot of pressure. And then it will. So let's just move him around and get him cut out move my tape a little so it'll stay and then you're basically just going to go through and cut out all the cats just sitting them kind of in random places now I'm not going to lie the tails can be fiddly <laughs> and especially on a thinner paper they're not too bad on the watercolor on the heavier paper but uh, what I do is afterwards I cut out three of a black layer and then offset I, I glue all those three together and then offset the um, the main colorful part just a little bit so it's got a little bit of a shadow and dimension so I'm just gonna set those inside and even if you don't offset them I do recommend um, especially you know if you're gonna glue them to a card that you either really glue them well or reinforce them because the necks are pretty thin and so are the tails. So, you know, it helps to have them reinforced. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of these and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out the last two on camera here because I'm going to cut them out together. And this cat that looks like he's walking away, I want lots of color on him. I want the black and white stripes again on his booty. I want his legs to be white. So I'm just gonna move him around till I feel like I'm happy with how he's gonna be shaped color-wise. And I want the brindle on his face too, or the stripes on his face. And then I'll do the last one, and he's not gonna have any stripes on him. He's gonna be just highly blotchy. <laughs> <laughs> one thing cool about this method is that it doesn't matter because no two cats are going to be the same and I'm just checking to see if I can fit his face anywhere on this piece and I can so I'm going to go ahead and do his face on that piece and cut him out now you could do these in just simply black and white and you could have your tuxy cats um, that's what I have abundance of in my house I have five tuxedo cats um, I have one calico, but she doesn't have any orange on her. I have a Siamese and I have a tabby. So the tabbies might be kind of tricky. You might use a stencil or something, but uh, this works out great for the calico. And of course you can do them black, white, gray, purple, you know, whatever you love. <laughs> whatever you love. They're your cats. So we'll go ahead and get these last pieces out. I like the face on that one. And I just always like to make sure that the faces match up. And I do like to pull off my mint tape <laughs> um, right away because, you know, I found that if you leave it on there, you know, till next time, it's harder to get off. So I've got those two, that little matching face, well, unmatching face. So adorable. I love these cats. So you can pick these up at Scrappy Shack, 15% off. Again, use that code time to make. All right, so I just want to show you how I get dimension on their little heads because I don't, I don't want too much dimension. I mean, you can put as much as you want, but I just want them a little bit. So I just take a corner of that piece of watercolor paper and put a little glue, glue that corner down, make sure, make sure there's nothing sticking out. Put a little more glue and I'll grab my tweezers and then lay him down like so. 
it's just better for me I don't again don't want too terribly much dimension so here's all our cats and I've got those done and I just wanted to show you I'm cutting out the three black layers of each cat and I'm gonna glue all those layers together and then I'm gonna glue the colorful cats on top of it um, and I am using my extended plates. And the reason I like those is because I had cut strips at two and a quarter by eight and a half out of my just regular eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I don't have to cut those down. You see how I can leave the strip long because I can get a second cat there in the center versus if I cut those in half, then I might need three pieces. So there's a good economy in using the, and I'm here fussing with the cat's tail. <laughs> so as I said, the tails can be fussy. Just you know, take your time and be patient. And it'll be fine. So see how I got all three cats using the extended plate. All right, here we go. Our cats are all done. I've got them offset a little bit and they're nice and sturdy and they are ready to go on our project see how tiny that little neck is that's why to me it feels important to reinforce anyway if you like this video please give me a thumbs up don't forget to visit scrappy shack and um if you want to see more from me go ahead and hit that subscribe button i hope you have a great day thank you Bye bye